there is a hidden problem with demo trading, simulator trading, paper trading, all those are the same thing. And it hides in plain sight. But when you are a beginner and just getting started within the world of trading, when you don't know what you don't know, this is one of those things. And I realized for me to just make the claim, oh, it's hiding in plain sight. Okay, fair enough. That is just me randomly saying that. But I do want to support that with some proof that I've had on a recent video where to these people credit, and I really do appreciate it. They're, they're trying to be kind. They're trying to show their support, which again, I really do appreciate. But as somebody that wants to educate, that wants to help people, I also need to call them out on some blind spots within their logic because I do illustrate exactly the point that I'm trying to make. So to set up a little context, I made a video and in the video, it was about, you know, am I fake trading, you know, with some of my live trade videos, which is one of the playlists on the channel. And I showed, you know, some proof that I wasn't and all that. But these people came in and they were, you know, like I said, they came in with good intentions. They came in actually defending me, but yet they reveal something where they don't quite understand that, yeah, there is a difference. And in many situations, it's a big difference. So let me show you what I mean. So the first person says, even if you were trading with a demo account, your videos would still be valuable to watch and learn from. This person says, also, who cares if it is a paper account or not? You still break down your psychology within your library. Now, this is the critical point that you need to be aware of and where you're not actually learning from people and why you do need to know if people are using real money or not. And if you've never paper traded or maybe you are and you think you're doing great, I'm not here to totally rain on your parade, but yes, I am here to rain on your parade a little bit. The massive flaw here is that sure you can learn whether or not it's real money or paper trading. Yeah, there's some things you can learn. Okay, he just made a comment about a certain candlestick. Oh, he pointed out some sort of resistance or support. Those things are all true. But what is not accounted for and what cannot be accounted for, and it just goes to show what the second person said is, hey, you know what? It's just all about the psychology. There's a lot we can still learn from the psychology. And no, you can't. It is a false psychology. If somebody is using fake money, there is no genuine psychology because the money is not real. And I'm not asking you to trust me, but what I am asking you is that the first time you go from paper to putting real money on the line, just ask yourself, do I feel different? Is my psychology all of a sudden a bit different? Do I have voices showing up that I never realized existed? Odds are, yeah, you're going to notice that there's a massive difference in psychology which circles back to is paper trading, is practice trading, is demo, simulator trading. Are those things worthless? No, they're not. They're a great way to, to figure out, do I understand you know, candle six? Do I understand support resistance levels? They're a great way to try to implement your, you know, what I like to call chart vision, your, your vision of the markets. But there is never going to be a complete and total smooth transition from a psychology standpoint, because those are just two different beasts. So before you go and think that you're learning from somebody that maybe, and who knows, maybe this person says, hey, I'm demo trading. Do not, I repeat, do not look at that person and say, okay, I'm going to learn about psychology from this person. I'm going to learn about how to deal with your emotions when trading from that person. No, because those per, that person does not have genuine emotions if the money is not real. So if you are going to make the claim, if you are in the pursuit of wanting to learn psychology from a trader, you got to make sure that is a trader you're using or you're watching using real money, because that's going to have a big influence on that person's trading and that person's uh, you know, genuineness in terms of what actual trading psychology looks like. And then setting that aside for your personal trading, when you are ready to get going, once again, not saying to avoid uh, practice trading, but what I am saying is just realize that there is going to be a disconnect between the psychology that you experience when it's just practice money, not real money, and then when it actually is real money. So play it safe, go slow, and don't go and start jumping around too much because a lot of people, as you've seen, are just not aware of this. And I don't blame these people. I want to reiterate, I thank these people because they were coming from a place of complimenting me, which I appreciate. But to, to, to them and to those of you uh, that are maybe not aware, just be very careful. If it's one of those things when you're new and you don't know what you don't know, you don't understand the massive disconnect there is between real money psychology and fake money psychology. So just keep that in mind. And once more, to those people that brought me those comments, thank you. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate your support. And overall, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Have you been there? Like I said, for you veteran traders, can you 
you know, provide some cover fire. Is there a difference between real money trading and fake money trading when it comes to psychology? Let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you have not hit the subscribe button, I would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.